guys. Hey lions, it's Miss Rogers here. I'm reading you a book today by John Classen. The one thing that makes John Classen so great is he writes the story and he does all of his illustrations, just like our past author. I'm so excited and I know you know this book, but you know how much I and how important you know that I think rereading a book is and listening to a story again is. So let's get started. This is not my hat. This hat is not mine. I just stole it. I stole it from a big fish. He was asleep when I took it. And he probably won't wake up for a long time. And even if he does wake up, he probably won't know that it's gone. And even if he does notice that it's gone, he probably won't know that it was me who took it. And even if he does guess it was me, he won't know where I'm going. But I will tell you where I am going. I am going where the plants grow big and tall and close together. It is very hard to see in there and nobody will ever find me. Ooh. There is someone who saw me already, but he said he wouldn't tell which way I was, I went. So I am not worried about that. I know it's wrong to steal a hat and I know it does not belong to me, but I am going to keep it. It was too small for him anyway. It fits me just right. And look, I made it where the plants are big and tall and close together. I knew I was gonna make it. Nobody will ever find me. <sighs> hmm. This book always makes us well, not laugh, but we always wonder what happened to the little fish because the big fish got his hat back. When we're reading the story, we're thinking, man, that crab's gonna tell exactly where that fish went. There's just a lot going on in this story and it's, it's so well written because it's just making you think the whole time. Man, I miss y'all so much and I have a surprise today. I wanna show you who my listeners are when you're not here. I'll be right back. And here they are, guys. Here's my first listener right here. His name is Max Rogers. He's one of my fluffy friends that I have here at my house, and I love him so much. My other friend is Luna, but she ran somewhere else, so who even knows? She's super cute, and hopefully next time I'll be able to get her on film too. I can't wait till our next, uh, our next read aloud, and I'll see you soon. Bye, lions!